Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, so let me tell you what I got out of the final press conference between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, which we all know the fight is this Saturday. So, you know, um, there will be a fight. You know, no tricks up Tyson Fury's sleeve. I mean, Tyson Fury's boxing career would be over if he tried to pull out of this fight. So there's no more sparring. There's no more press conference. So basically, all Tyson Fury have to do is just wait. You know, that's pretty much it. All we have to do is wait. It's Wednesday. The fight is coming up on Saturday. So, you know, with that being said, I'm looking forward to this fight. So we're going to see what happens. But what I got out of Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury was, at, you know, acting a little erratic. You know, you could tell with somebody talking shit and they getting erratic. You know, Deontay Wilder was cool and calm. And it was kind of funny. I love the part where, you know, Deontay Wilder counters Tyson Fury. You know, and Tyson Fury says, well... If this happened, that happened, and I had all these people on my payroll, why did you change trainers? And then Deontay Wilder came back with, why did you change trainers twice in two fights versus me? So you heard Tyson Fury, and I caught some dialogue that came out of Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury refuses to just flat out say he didn't do what everybody or a lot of people accused him of doing. He keeps saying there's lies. They're lies. There, you know, while there's just being a sore loser, you know, whatever you think of the whole glove gate situation, it is what it is. I know what I think and I know what other people think. Um, like I said, me, myself and other media outlets have provided tons of proof that Tyson Fury got a history of doing shady stuff. So it went ignored. People get mad. And all this kind of stuff. But ask me, do I care if you get mad? Because I'm going to continue to say what I want to say. So, you know, it is what it is, you know. But it was kind of funny, you know, like I said. Um, uh, Wilder was spot on about stuff about, well, the reason why, you know, the reason why you haven't flat out answered whether you did it or not because there are certain media outlets that won't ask you the tough question. One thing about me when I was out there, I did try to ask tougher questions. I didn't try to ask the ba basic questions. At the end of the day, you got to understand for those who watch me when I was in the field, when I was covering these fights, when I was working with Dante, you know, um, at the end of the day, Dante told me this is what he would tell me. Ask tough questions, but try to not like disrespect them, you know, and that's what I would try to do. Now, me, myself, if it was up to me, I would ask some way tougher questions. But at the end of the day. It's a limitation on what you can ask these fighters, promoters, managers, people that have top ties to the fighter. Because some of these fighters, they take every little thing personal. They are, you know, I don't like to use that word. Uh, they could just be a little far too emotional, you know, and that's just real talk. So, you know, when I was out there, as y'all know, I did my best, you know. To ask the tougher questions than what other people would normally ask. You know, funny, funny thing is you you had a, you know, a bunch of troll ass people on YouTube still thinking that I was on Bob Aaron's payroll, which, you know, I hardly even uh, interview Bob Aaron. But still, you had stupid, stupid, dumb ass niggas who think they know everything and don't know what the fuck they talk about. Think that I was under Bob Aaron's payroll, you know. Which that was just amazing, but that's what happens when you have a bunch of dumbass niggas talk out the side of their mouth and don't know what they're talking about. But, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, um, Tyson Fury looks very nervous going into this fight. But we'll see what happens, man. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this fight, man. So, you know, we'll see what happens Saturday. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.